I'm D. Croppin, your host with the most bread, no toast. Bread, no toast? What does that even mean? Ha, ah, that means I'm gonna fry some fish for y'all today. We're not on the lake, we're in the kitchen. Gonna shake and bake that croppin. I mean, more or less, shake and fry. That sound better. That's what we gonna do. Today, I'm gonna teach y'all how to fry fish like a pro. I mean, golden, delicious, brown, Fillets look like a restaurant. So, mm, I'm, mm, I'm getting all stirred up thinking about it. So y'all get ready, cause I'm finna take it there. All right, today I'll be using Louisiana fish fry for this demonstration. I believe they have a great fry as far as uh, coating, very good. It, it, it adheres to the fish very good. I mean, all, all I use is the water that I rinse them off with and the water by itself will have enough moisture to draw that fry up into the fish and keep it in there, keep it on there pretty good. So I'll just take a piece of fish and shake it out real good. Make sure you got them rinsed off real good. You don't want any, any gook and gunk on it. But I'll take a fillet and try to shake that all, as much water off of, of it as you can. And all I'll do is just Give it a, a gentle shake right like this, a little nice shake. Evenly coat the fish. And I like to do it in a, in a deep bowl because the deeper it is, the less mess you can wind up with because it can be messy flopping this fry around. But all I'll do is shake that around like that a little bit. And as you see, the filet, put that down right there. The filet is, Beautifully coated. Beautifully coated. And that's all with water. Because the batter itself will uh, do the job for you with the water. That's all, it, that's all it takes. And then we'll just take that bad boy to the fryer and make it happen. All right, I'm using a Presto Pro Fryer today. And so we'll go ahead and put these beautiful fillets Put these beautiful fillets in, in the grease. And I like to have the basket out of the grease start out with. And just drop those bad boys on in there. 375 is what I got the fire on. The temperature on, I'm sorry. And uh, you, you, know, you only need to cook the crappie for two to three minutes. Let me start a time. Alexa, start a three minute timer. Three minutes, starting now. So three minutes, two to three minutes, depending on how thick the filet is, it, it will get it done for you because anymore you can dry the fish out. You, you, you wanna, if you want your fish juicy and moist, two to three minutes to get it done. Some people like to cook it harder and cook it longer, you know, five minutes, your choice. But two to three minutes for me is what I like to do. And they, they, with the Louisiana fish fry, they come out crispy and hard anyway. And yeah, baby. Ooh, wait. Those things doing the right thing. They doing the right thing. Yeah, this Presto Pro Fryer is a very good fryer. And the, the I forgot to point this out. This is one of the key ingredients to making it look like a restaurant. You have to have some of the equipment that they use. The deep fryer evenly cooks the fish all over with it submerged in the grease like that. And sitting in the basket, it doesn't contact the heat element down low and it just cooks very evenly and gives you that nice professional presentation. And also the, the, the deep fryer has the thermostat in there to re regulate the temperature. You know, when you cook it on a stove, you, you can put a thermometer in there but it doesn't regulate the temperature like a deep fryer does so that's another great benefit of cooking with a deep fryer as well you don't have to worry about the the temperature fluctuating on you and possibly burning your fish up or you know overcooking it it's going to be consistently even okay alexa has told us it's three minutes alexa stop timer so we'll take these bad boys out. And that's another great thing about this deep fryer. I can rest these fillets on the side to get some of that grease off of there. 
and just let it drain real good because you don't want um, your fish just soaked and saturated with grease. Okay, after that's done, I use I like to use a strainer with a bowl because that way, if you, if you use napkins, you can have your, your fish just sitting in grease and then the, they also sweat. The heat from the fish will allow it to sweat with the grease mixture and so you'll wind up with some soggy fish out over time. So I'll just drop it in that strainer. Put them bad boys in there. And then with three minutes, you have a beautiful golden crispy filet. I mean, that look like that's part of a, a two-piece basket at some uh, fish fish uh, fish house. So, I mean, that is beautiful. This is hot. All right, another thing I want to show y'all. You can make a little crappie chip out of that. But I like to make little crappie nuggets for my kids. So I take one, a fat filet, chop it up, slice it up like this, getting little nuggets right there. Get my fry. Still got that moisture on there. You can see the wet off the fish. A little toss, a little nice toss. Bring them on over. Shake it all extra fry off of them. Drop them on in there. Mm -hmm. Put it on down, let it fizzle around. You do that for two minutes. Because what you're cutting into the fish, it's going to definitely cook it down faster. So two minutes to get that done, and you'll have you some wonderful, delicious, crappie nuggets. For the kids, offer yourself. Have your little poppable uh, pieces of fish. All right. Pull those delicious little babies out of there. Shake them to the side. Get that extra grease off of them. Mm-hmm. Then get your strainer. Pop those bad boys on in there. Boom. Then you got some delicious little golden nuggets. Oh, man. Texas tea. Gold nuggets. All right, the bowl recap. Okay, hold on before I get into that. Another thing is when you're frying, everybody who fries fish know about this. When it starts to get, you know, the clumps in your fry, you can take a sifter to get those clumps out of there and put your fry back to its original state and you can keep on shaking and baking with it. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. Three things I want to think about. The bowl, deep, this is a stainless steel bowl. Deep bowl, less mess, possibly. I, I tossed some out of here even with the deep bowl, but if it hadn't been so deep, it would have been an even more mess. But it allows you to toss it around with your fish and coat it evenly which in turn makes for good frying when you throw it in the deep fryer. Okay, that's the bowl. Next, the deep fryer with a thermostat helps to regulate the temperature, cook even, distributes the temperature evenly. You don't have to do the guesswork, the, the machining does it for you. And I'll be putting a link in the description for that Presto Pro fryer as well. And every, anything else that I'm using in this video. Third thing, your timing. Two to three minutes for the crappie is perfect. You don't have to cook it forever. The crappie is lean, meat, white, no fat. So two to three minutes, unless you like crappie jerky. Cook it all day then, okay? Cook it all day. But that's about it right there, okay? And so I want to thank y'all for watching this video. If you hadn't subscribed, please subscribe, touch that notification button so you can get a, a notification of every video I put out and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up, putting this video out, showing y'all how to fry this fish. You know, some people it'd be helpful for and um, just keep watching. I mean, I, I really appreciate y'all. I love making videos. I love fishing, anything related to fish. So allow me to keep doing this by watching and subscribing and help grow this channel. If you see me out on the lake, come up and say hi to me. I'm a cool guy. I love meeting people. Since I started this channel, I've met so many cool dudes on the lake. And so if you see me out, come introduce yourself to me. You know, you never know one day we might be fishing together. All right. So thank y'all. I'll see you later.